Yeah, but before we get there, there's an exciting stop. This is really incredibly important for me because this is the home of my beast. The great Indian one horned rhinoceros. That's right, we're heading to Kaziranga. What's at the end is also a creature which is even larger than your one horned rhino, and that's the heffalump or the elephant. So, what we're gonna do is have a face off between his favorite, the elephant, and my favorite, the rhinoceros, and see who can eat more. I thought Rocky's favorite animal was a mutton sea kebab, but if it's the rhino, so be it. It's bright and sunny, the fields are open, the bars are open, the dhabas are open. The army trucks are almost running over us. We have found <laughs> the correct mode of transport. That cycle ride really helped us work up an appetite, so we've parked here 40 kilometers short of Kaziranga in the village of Bhumanagori, and we've stopped here for a multitude of reasons. Well, the first one being the name. This is called Samaro Endi's Dhaba. I don't want to figure out what that means. It could have many possible meanings. One would be that it belongs to a guy called Samaro and his friend D. What else could it be? <laughs> <laughs> the word Samaro means meeting. So it could be somebody using a player word saying meeting in Dhis Dhaba. <laughs> it could be a rapper. Well, you've heard of the House of Bamboo. This is taking it to a completely different level. This is the Dhaba on bamboo with little outhouses on bamboo with a little bathroom on bamboo in the back. Inside the Samaro and Dees Dhaba, we're with Mr. Nitul Das, who's the proprietor of this place. The tribals from where Mr. Nitul Das comes from make the houses like this. He's got this idea from back home and he's brought it over here and made this wonderful place on stilts. And the best part that I like about this is, every time you jump over here, the camera shakes. Oh, good idea. The cameraman <laughs> doesn't like us very much, but we're going to do it anyway. Nitul Ji, the name of Samaro and Dees Dhaba, what does it mean? Samaro means gathering. And this model of Nam Sevota, Nitul Das me. Nitul Das. We have cracked it. It's not meeting Endi's Taba, although that's what we're doing here. It's Samaro, meeting place, Endi's, this gentleman's name, and then Taba. Where did you get the name Taba from? <laughs> we decided what we're going to have from this. Extremely extensive menu which starts at number one from green salad and ends at 158 with badam fry. Mr. Nitul, egg mirle pigeon, local style gravy, or egg duck, local style again dry. Okay. So that's my order. What do you have? Rice. Johar rice. Johar rice. Dal fry. Dal fry. Boiled vegetables. Never tried boiled food before. Take. Food out of the way. Come with us outside because you'll see why this daba gets my vote for being one of the prettiest places we've ever eaten at. Huh? Huh? Isn't it pretty? It's cool, it's nice and colored, and it's high up on the ground. Hey, don't shake it. Yeah. My cameraman. Come on, try not to shake it. <laughs> Excuse my friend, he's so happy to be out in the open after such a long time cooped up inside. <laughs> Funny you should say cooped up, I feel like a pigeon. <laughs> and talking about that, this is what they bring their pigeons in over here. The local villagers bring it in this. You know, isn't this really similar to when they have the Indo Park peace process things, they open this and let pigeons and doves fly out? That's probably why it never works, because pigeon curry is better than making peace. Wonderful Assamese music allows us to give you some traditional folk dance presentations. We're going to work up an appetite.